In this video, we are going to create a simple task in Mail and Deploy. We are going to create a report and we're going to send it by email. I have already designed a report. Here you can see it. It contains a dashboard. And now I will show you the preview that you can see how it looks like. There you go. I used a template from PowerPoint and added my dashboard. If you have a template with your corporate identity, you can use it as well. This is the report that we are going to send by email using a task in Mail and Deploy. We are going back to our Mail and Deploy designer and close it. Then we are going to the Mail and Deploy Management console and start creating a task. Select Tasks in the left menu and then click Create Task. In the general section, we will give the task the name Send Executive Dashboard Report by email. Then we go to Actions. The first thing we are going to do here is to create a report document. From the list we select Create Report Document. We are going to give it an internal name and the mode will be Create from Report because we do not want to create a report from a data source object. Then we are going to choose the report. It is the report executive dashboard that I showed you before. The file type is defined here. In this example, we want it to be a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, not an Adobe PDF document. Remember, the file type of the report is defined in the general tab of the Create Report Document action. I will mention it a little bit later once again. Now we save it and close this window. The next part will be another action, send by email. We create an action again. Select send email from the list of actions. In the general tab, we will use the predefined email server settings. As a subject, we will type executive dashboard report and here you can see a plus icon. This means that mail and deploy is expecting an expression and strings should be surrounded by double quotes. With this icon, you can open the expression editor to make the text feel bigger and you can write longer expressions. Now to the body of the email. This time we won't do anything fancy. As body type, we can choose between HTML or expression. In this example, we are using an expression. Now to the Attachments tab, we create a new attachment, and as content type, we select Report Document and the content is the execution dashboard that we created a few seconds ago. We give a name to the attachment. Once again, these icons here indicate that we need to use an expression. The string should again be surrounded by double quotes. Please do not use a file extension like .ppt. Do not use it, because, remember as I told you about the file type. The file type is defined in the create report action and mail and deploy will assign the correct file extension. Then we click save. In the next step, we have to specify the recipients. We click create recipients reference. As type we select to. As selection we can have several expressions like expression returning email addresses or usernames or user match codes etc. We also have selected users and our user groups. This time, we select expression returning email addresses. In the expression field you can add, for instance, a field name, a task parameter, a variable, an expression, etc. Then we are finished. We press OK. OK. And OK. Here we press play and in tools and execution status, we can see what mail and deploy is doing. It tells you step by step what it is doing. And when it disappears, mail and deploy is done and you can switch to the execution calendar. The task is green, that means that everything worked well. We can open it and see once again what mail and deploy executed, and also take a look at the execution log entry. Now I will open my email account and see if the email is there.
and here it is. The email with the execution dashboard report is PowerPoint presentation in the attachment. We open it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.